Good evening. South Australians are bracing for the arrival of a storm front expected to be so severe, authorities warn it could be the worst in decades. There are fears of serious flooding across the state and through areas devastated less than a fortnight ago. Now breaking news now out of South Australia where the entire state is in darkness. It's not simply a storm. It's an unprecedented weather event, two tornadoes ripping through the centre of our state, destroying not one, not two, but three elements of critical infrastructure. This is extraordinary and unprecedented. As we go to air tonight, the entire state of South Australia has lost power. Buildings have been plunged into darkness throughout South Australia. I've been in the role here for six years, and I've got to say it's the most severe forecasts that uh, we've encountered to date. Closer to shore, we are bracing for very dangerous... I speak under you this day and I say you are living in times when multitudes have made for themselves delusional gods. That is, they have made gods of their own invention, they have made gods they name by my name, but I say that there absolutely is no righteousness in them. For I say when men will give forth their crafty invention and call them their gods, I say they are deluding themselves. And I say they deceive themselves in their imaginations that allows them to get by with their sins. I say this day that I, the living God, have always judged men according to their sin. And when men will create for themselves false gods, I say they live in delusion. And I say it is me, the living God, who is at this time unleashing my wrath, my fury, my indignation upon the sons of men for all the delusion they have put themselves in. For I say that have always been, I will continue to be sorely displeased with those who worship idols. And I say when men will choose idols above the true way, they are choosing deceit and the damnation that accompanies the same. Now I say this day that I, the living God, never called you to choose damnation, to choose deceit, to choose destruction. But I say that I've called you to choose the way of my life, my truth, my mercy revealed. For I say if you will be choosing to believe upon me, to trust me and obey me, then of course you are guided by me. And I say you are given the blessedness, the truth, the light and the mercy revealed. Now I say this day in a time of wayward and perverse behavior by men, yet they think they are all right with me, I say they have conjured up delusional gods. That is, they have given themselves over to the deceit of crafty invention, and yes, they are loving it so. For I say it is me, the living God, who did time and again punish my people severely when they went a-whoring after the ways of the heathen and chose to serve their gods. For I say, when my people will depart from me, they break the covenant, they break the vows, they break the way that I have intended for them. Then I say, they think in their multiplied whoredoms that I, the living God, will look upon them and I will think they are okay. But I say that the truth of it is, they fill their own lives with wickedness, with deceit, and with the very condemnation of their souls. And I say, when they are in such a state, they are not okay with me. For I say, it is me, the living God, who holds them responsible, accountable. And I say that they will be bound under my wrath revealed. Now I say, this day, the idol of God absolutely never intended that men and women would be bound under wrath. But I say, because of the deceit, the spiritual whoredom, the adultery they commit against me, I say they put themselves in opposition to me. And I say that I am living God, I'm not mocked, and I say that I will mock them, I will scoff them, I will scorn them when they cry. For I say they are not serving me, nor walking in obedience unto me, for I say they have chosen the way of delusional gods. I say this day that I the living God am vindicating my wrath, my fury, my indignation upon all who reject my call to repent. That is, when they will go on in their own smug and arrogant ways and think they remain forever, it is me the living God who can bring them to naught. And it is me the living God who can reveal again and again and again my sore displeasure with such ones. For I say, when they are indeed choosing the way of transgression, the way of violation, they are choosing lies. And I say, they are found bound in the iniquity, the darkness, the evil of their own way. Now I say, there's a way that seems right unto men, but that way will bring them destruction and damnation of soul. And I say, while men in their deceitfulness will lie to themselves, will even try to lie to me, I say, they get nowhere in the same. 
For I say, for all of their transgression against me, they are the ones who pay. For I say, when men will violate me, refuse to obey me, and be guided forth in me, I say, they go in the way of empty-headed fools. And I say, that they are devoured, destroyed, and damned, because they choose an opposition to me. Now I say this day that I, the living God, do not call you to choose an opposition unto me, but I say that I call you to choose my life. That is, that you can be uplifted, brought forth, and ever guided in my way. For I say, when you will be choosing to believe upon me, then yes, you are guided each day by me. And I say, you are given the blessedness, the mercy, the truth, and the light of who I am. Now I say, when you see the ones who have made an idol of themselves and think that I, living God, bow to the same, I say they are smitten in pride. That is, they are drunk, intoxicated, and highly lifted up in their own imagination as to their own worth. And I say, because they are choosing the way of pride, they are choosing lies. And I say, because they are choosing the way of contempt from me, I say that I, the living God, hold them in contempt likewise. Now I say, this day that I, the living God, will give my mercy, I will give my truth and my life to the ones who will indeed humble themselves unto me. That is, the ones who will humble themselves, bow down, and be respecting and honoring me. For I say, when the ones who are mine will serve me with gladness, rejoicing, and continual repentance, then I say they are keeping themselves clean before me. But I say to the ones who stray from my way, go after Babylon's Jesus and the many gods and whoredoms of the same, prove what fools they are. And I say they prove they are indeed unworthy of me. I say this day that I don't have been God never called men to prove how unworthy they are, how full of falsehood and lies. But I say that I've called men to be made glad, ever thankful that they can serve me each day. That is, that they can indeed be uplifted, directed, corrected, and brought forth. That they can be given the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, who is the way of all righteousness, blessedness, truth, strength, and hope provided. And it is me, the living God, that you are privileged to look unto and believe. For I say, when you are indeed coming forth uplifted in that which I give, then I say you are guided each day by me. And I say that you will be given the truth, the light, the mercy, and the strength of who I am. For I say it is indeed a good thing to trust in me, to believe in me, and be brought forth in me. And I say it is indeed a good thing to know that by respecting me that I, the living God, will honor thee. For I say for the ones who walk in obedience unto my way, I say they find the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. But I say to the ones who choose to go whoring, who live in transgression, violation against me, I say they live in the way of fools. I say this day do not be found going in the way of fools and multiplied transgressions in the same. But I say instead be found uplifted, directed, and ever guided by me, and given the strength, the blessedness, the truth, and the light, the mercy revealed. For I say when you are indeed found abiding in me, you are brought forth in my life. And I say you are given each day the blessedness that I provide. But I say to the wayward, the careless, the perverse, the wicked, the vile, the ones who make idols and worship the same, I say they will know my wrath revealed, for it is the time of my wrath. And I say that men in all of their lying deceptions may conjure up what they think to be me, but it is not true. For I say the very thing they choose to bow before is nothing but lies. I say this day that I, the living God, never intended that you would live in lies, partake of lies, and be found damned in lies. But I say that I've intended that you would be thankful to love, to serve, to obey me each day, and to be uplifted, brought forth, and be provided in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. For I say it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods who guides you forth. And it is me, the living God, alone of all the gods who gives unto you the truth, the light, the mercy, the strength, and the hope of who I am. Therefore I say, let it be me that you will continue to look unto, that you will continue to believe, to trust, to obey. And let it be me who will prove to be the light upon the pathway, as you will walk uprightly in me. For I say you are living in times when men have so re-imaged me, they imagine they can do any vile thing, and I am dedicated unto them. But I say that is nothing but the lies of pride and demons that they have adhered unto that take them so far from me. 
For I say that I the living God will separate myself from the man, the woman who gives themselves unto sin. And I say that I am not bound abiding with them. For I say in their sinfulness, their wickedness, their deceitfulness, I say they are choosing their own way. And I say the very way they are choosing is the way of death, destruction, and damnation of soul. And I say the very way they are adhering unto will prove to be the essence of death unto them. And I say it is because they are going in a way that I did not intend, nor did I provide. And I say they are choosing that which will prove to be very difficult in the end. For I say, while well, they think they slip by in all of their slimy scheming against me, I say they are the ones who will end in hell through the same. And I say, even before they depart this life, they will know the burnings of hell upon them, as I, the living God, will give them the same in my wrath revealed. But I say to the ones who will indeed keep serving, loving, and walking in obedience unto me, I say that they will be guided in life. And I say that they will be given the truth, the strength, and the mercy revealed. Therefore I say in an adulterous, a wayward, a perverse, a wicked generation, consider the privilege you've been given to rely upon me. Consider the mercy, the truth, the hope, and the safety of who I am. Consider that I am the one who is victorious, triumphant, and the everlasting God. Consider that I am the one who will direct you in my life. For I say, if it is me that you will believe upon, if it is me that you will trust, serve, and obey, then yes, you can be guided in my way. But I say to the ones who refuse to be ruled by me, I say they are inevitably ruled by demons. For I say they go in the way of transgression, they go in the way of violation, they go in the way of deceit. And I say for all of the cunning scheming of their own carnal minds and demon spirits, I say they find no way of escape from me. That is, in the sense that they establish their own way, then declare that the same is right before me. For I say they are fools, stubborn, proud fools, who will be taken down in their folly, because they choose an opposition to me. And I say they choose the way of violation of my life, my truth, and my mercy revealed. And I say they choose the way of iniquity, and yes, they will perish in the same. For I say that I, the living God, am not mocked, and I hold them accountable, responsible, because they choose an opposition to me. I say this day do not choose to lose by living in opposition unto me, but I say be coming forth in the truth, the light, the mercy revealed. And I say be made glad each day that you can indeed be serving in the attitude of gratitude. That is, coming forth in the truth, the light, the mercy, and the hope of who I am. That is, coming forth knowing that it is me, the living God alone of all the gods, who is able to give you the truth, the light, and the mercy revealed. And I say, be made glad even now that I am the one who is the life eternal, that I am the one who guides you forth, that I am the one who gives unto you the blessedness, the strength, and the truth that I alone do bring. I say, serve me each day with thanksgiving, gladness, rejoicing, and the giving of praise, that you can indeed be under mercy rather than wrath revealed that is coming upon all who worship idols and deny me.